Hi, this is Nahi Rice from here from sportsgreview.com. Borussia Dortmund host Borussia Mönchengladbach for their first Bundesliga match of the season. Now, both teams have had very successful pre-season matches and will be looking to continue their success in the new season. Joining us now is sports writer and SBR contributor Richard Prue. He's going to run through the match and do stay tuned for his top tip right at the end. Now, Richard, this is a tough match to predict. The odds point to the home win, but they did have a tough ride last season, finally ending in seventh place, while Monch and Gladbach finished in fourth. So what are you expecting? Uh, well, this is the first game of the Bundesliga season. And whilst most people would consider that uh, Dortmund must improve on last season's problems where they began extremely badly and only finished seventh. Um, Munch and Gladbach were quite an underrated team. They finished fourth last season. And I think this could be quite a bit tighter than the market suggests. Uh, the market has got Dortmund to odds on uh, for this game with the new manager um, after their long time, very popular manager, Jurgen Klopp, left. Um, this could be a game in which the hosts take some time to settle down. And they're up against uh, opponents that are very difficult to beat. Yeah. Uh, Munch and Gladbach only conceded 26 goals last year over the whole season. Um, and again, this could be a game where I would be quite careful about taking short prices about the hosts. Over the season, of course, uh, you'd expect them to recover from last season's results and if not challenged by Munich for the title certainly be in the European places um, but first game of the season I'm not rushing to take uh, the prices about Dortmund at the moment yeah yeah I agree with you and first match of the season as well you've got to take that into consideration winners market uh, currently has Dortmund price 1.73 William Hill uh, the draw 3.9 bet Victor and then Monch and Gladbach Five, uh, bet three six five. The value is definitely in the upset here. Monch and Gladbach have beaten Dortmund in four of their last five meetings, including their last head-to-head -head back in November, uh, which ended three one. There's also enough value to take Monch and Gladbach sort of draw no bets. That's definitely something worth considering. Uh, now you're talking about Monch and Gladbach's tight defence. What are you expecting in terms of goals? Um, well, I, I had in mind that the draw, I think, at 3.9 was something that was quite attractive. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, whether it was 0-0, 1-1, you know, those type of scores. Again, we might be looking here at an unders game purely because of Munch and Gladbach's defensive record. Um, Dortmund have a new striker as well. Uh, that, is, that, of course, may take um, some time to settle in. Um, and they haven't really upgraded the squad from last season. Uh, so... I think unders as well, under two and a half, possibly back to the draw as well. Yeah. Uh, the, these would be the value plays against going for the home team at quite cramped odds. Mm -hmm. I don't have the odds to hand, but certainly as well, if you think that we're going to see an upset, Monsh and Gladbach, who finished fourth last season, you know, they stand a very good chance of winning this match. So even sort of taking a look at those odds there for Monsh and Gladbach, draw no bet could be a possibility as well. Uh, the under, as you mentioned, is priced very nice, 2.05 at 888 Sport. But go on, tell us, what is your top tip for our viewers today, Richard? Well, I'll give you two. The first would be the draw at 3.9, uh -huh. and the sec and the second would be under two, under two and a half goals at 2.05. You know, over even money, quite a big underdog compared to people backing the overs in what could be a cagey first game of the season with a very good defensive side as the away side. Um, again, let's expect a uh, tight match and the draw and under something like nil nil or one one. All right, fantastic, Richard Prue. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.